We want to give you greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Truly, this is the day the Lord hath made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it. Well, as you can see, this is not Walter and Nina Zagrebich, evangelist, missionary evangelist, but it is evangelist Tony and Marge Abram. And we are filling in today for our dear brother and sister who are back on the traveling path. And I want to say that now's your time to do some evangelism. Do you realize that if you are a Bible-believing, born-again believer, that God has a work for you to do? And one of the work is to tell others about Jesus. And here's an opportunity. Grab your phone. I'm trying to get my phone over here. And uh, hit the little share button. I've already done it. And this is also going over on my Facebook, and you can be sharing with your friends and friends of your friends. And this is one way because of all the platforms that uh, this program is on, it is possible everyone in the whole world could hear the gospel if they was to tune in and listen. And if all the platforms like Facebook and whatever. Lincoln and and all the different platforms. I'm going to have to find out for Walter sometime which what are, what they all are. But uh, you can literally hear us, watch us, and if not, you can get it on YouTube either on on Walter's channel or on our channel, Abundant Life Crusades, or of course, uh, Walter and, and Nina's. Um, or uh, I'm trying to think of what the word is. But anyways, on our YouTube channel, uh, it is Global Vision. And this program is Global Vision. We don't have the, the signs behind us there as uh, Walter does when uh, they are hosting. Marge and I are hosting today. And uh, it, what Marge, what does it say? Uh, it's Global Vision Ministry. Post Office Box 5377, El Dorado Hills, California, 95762. And you'll give that at the end of this broadcast yeah. again today. Uh, and uh, we don't have the sign up there, but you can go. Uh, Sister Marcy, um, she, she came up with the idea. Go back to one of the older ones on YouTube. And if you were looking for the address uh, when Walter is uh, hosting, then uh, continually you can see on the background uh, the address and the name of the ministry. But we're filling in, and uh, we we probably don't do as good a job as Walter and Nina. I'm sure we don't. Uh, but we have been in the harness for the Lord uh, uh, for many years. My wife and I, have been married just over 60 years and uh, doing that whole time. I mean, right from the very beginning, we have been in ministry and uh, into the nations. And when this program of missionary evangelist Walter and Nina Zagrevich, it's, it's the, the, the uh, idea, the goal of this ministry is to reach people with the gospel of Christ, which will bring them to salvation. That's number one. And if you need healing or you need answer to prayer, we are praying for the nations, praying for America, praying for Canada, praying for uh, all the continents from Australia to Asia, to South and North uh, America, to Africa to Europe. I think I've covered all six of them. And even for countries like Greenland, New Zealand, and, and, and we could go on. There's over 200 some countries. Well, Marge and I, we have traveled and ministered in, uh, we say, over 125 
it's probably 135, 140 countries now because a lot of countries have split up. I remember when we first went to Yugoslavia, it was one country. Now it's about six or seven countries because now Slovenia, where my grandparents on my mother's side came from, and uh, uh, then there's the uh, well, what are they, Marge? Can you remember? Slovenia, Ser Serbia, Serbia, Croatia, Croatia Montenegro, Mon yes, and Macedonia. And Macedonia. And I think there's. Herzegovina, that's another separate country. Well, right? my, the, the, there's yeah. a number of them. But, anyways, uh, we have been in a number of countries sharing the gospel. And uh, one thing I, I, I like, I don't brag enough on my dear wife, Margie, but Margie, first give them a greetings, and then I'm going to tell them something personal about you. Well, we greet you today in the wonderful name of Jesus, and we're so happy to be able to fill in for Brother Walter and Sister Nina uh, and, and as they're traveling. And we just thank the Lord for his faithfulness to them, to us, the children of God. And uh, Matthew 5 and 16, in, in Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, he said, let your light so shine before men so that they may see your good works and glorify the Father in heaven. And so that's what we want to do. Glorify the Lord today as we share some of the testimonies, as we share what God is doing, what he has done, what he yet will do. He is so good. We love our heavenly father and we love his son, Jesus. The blessed Holy Spirit is our guide. We thank God for his wonderful love to us today. Amen. Amen. We we love the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. But here's a little secret about Mark. Well, I don't know if it's a secret, but my wife, I guess it's because we've traveled to so many countries. She is a great international cook. And um, uh, over the last couple of years where our, our flying uh, around the world has been uh, curtailed because of the pandemic, uh, that we have gone through the last couple of years and because we are getting older and uh, and because of the event of of zoom and where we can, I can actually it's just like when we were doing some teaching in the bible school in Nepal a short time back and uh, here I'm sitting here in in our in our trailer that we've had for over 50 some years but we didn't get to live in it all the time because we were traveling uh, uh, around the world preaching the gospel. But, but here in Nepal, uh, I'm my interpreter, the school is over there, and I'm, I'm teaching, I'm sitting here and teaching uh, on evangelism. Of course, I miss the big crusades. Uh, I know the last great big crusade was when my brother was still alive, and uh, that one, uh, was about a hundred thousand there in in uh, in uh, in Africa, in uh, Congo. Congo. That I'm trying to think yeah. which country <laughs> we've ministered almost uh, quite a number of countries in 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 Africa, and of course Walter Zagravich he has as well. And back when he was a very young man, uh, he 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 would precede us and organize the crusades. And he, he was a great, and is, oh, I guess if he wanted to do that, uh, he could still be a great organizer. But uh, he, and, he and his dear wife have their own ministry of global vision. And you that have been watching it know that much work has been done yes. in Ukraine. And in Ukraine, uh, you know what's been going on. Uh, it's been over a year uh, that they have been just bombing and destroying parts of Ukraine and those precious people. And Walter Zagravich, with his Bible schools, and we've done a lot of work with him in it, and we know firsthand of, of the success, has trained literally I would say conservatively that uh, over 5,000 uh, Ukrainians and Russians and Belarus and, and 
this from some of the other uh, uh, countries that uh, the Soviet Union broke up into uh, were trained in the, the three, three month uh, Bible schools and have been trained in their pastors. There's literally hundreds, uh, I believe, of those that we have trained that are in ministry, not only in, in uh, Russia and Ukraine and Belarus and some of the other countries, but also uh, they have gone into other parts of Europe. You know, Europe is a mission field. Do you realize that uh, in countries like Germany, only one or two percent of the people are churchgoers? And uh, you, if you go to England, uh, the, the attendance is almost nothing. And, and soon, and by the way, this is something to pray about. England was always considered a, a, a Christian country. And now the, it is almost equal with um, Islam. Uh, the, awesome. the Muslims uh, uh, have, been, have built so many mosques over there, hundreds of them. I know when Marge and I oh, were first married, we almost immediately went to uh, England where we were preceding uh, T.L. Osborne, that great missionary evangelist that's enjoying heaven now. Uh, he, uh, we, we were his associate evangelists and we were laying the groundwork for his crusades, visiting many churches. There was only one mosque in all of uh, great well of england maybe all of great britain at that time and that was down near uh woking and uh, uh guilford down in uh, that area i don't know if it was in the county of surrey or not but it was down in that area could have been in in, the, in that county and uh, and now there are hundreds and hundreds as christian churches close uh, they are buying them and and uh, opening a mosque and we're not on here to condemn people or uh, religions or people. Uh, but we're here to lift up Jesus because Jesus said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. And isn't yes. that what we've been trying to do, Marge? Amen. Uh, but before we go on and share some things, uh, I'd like you to uh, just share that little devotional that you had uh, that you shared. Marge and I, we have devotions in the morning. We have, when we get up, we have them before we go to bed together. And that doesn't mean we don't pray during the day. Uh, I, it's a wonder my wife's, the, the phone hasn't melted because uh, all day long she's uh, counseling, praying with people. And uh, uh, I shouldn't say all day long. That's a bit evangelistic. I mean, evangel evangel uh, uh, part of the day part of the day but good part of the day and even today we had a call from uh, our two of our people that we do pray for every day their family uh Mary, Mary from up in uh, her and her husband Jerry uh he's he's in rehab right now and uh, they're a couple years younger than us they're they're not spring chickens anymore either but anyways uh, he's gone really through it and and he's he's planted a number of churches, and I think we've 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 have held revivals or crusades in every one of these churches that he that he has uh, established founded. Yes. founded yes. yes, and it's kind of interesting how we met him. I don't know we'll have time to tell about that, but anyways, it's important if you can do it to start. If you're a married couple and you want that marriage to be successful and blessed. Do like Marge and I do. At least it's it it, it, it works. I know in Japan, uh, they they consider us the happiest couple on earth. Of course, they don't follow us around twenty four hours a day. Uh, we're we're far from perfect, but um, we do love each other, work with each other. You know that it might, I think our marriage is going to uh, last because it's been uh, over sixty years. I'm not like the fellow that said, oh, he was going to keep his wife till she was uh, 50 and then trade her in for two 25-year-old models. No, sir, Bob. I, I got a winner here, and 
we have worked and prayed together all over the world. And what, what a success to point people to the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I'm really carrying on. I'm not giving you a chance, Marjan. <laughs> I wanted to share some. And, and this is my opportunity because usually yeah, she does more of the talking, especially on the phone. I don't get to hardly use the phone. Come on, Sister Marge. Give us that devotion. Praise that the Lord. Uh, I want to read from Matthew 5 and verses 13 to 16. And of course, this was Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, part of it. He says, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven. So here, Jesus is talking about two things, light and salt. And salt is a preserver. And it is also a food enhancer. It enhances the flavor of our food. Uh, and also, it is, it is what keeps food from decaying. And uh, so the Lord wants us to be ministers to this darkened world that is decaying with sin and corruptness and of course he tells us to be the light of the world to give light and you know to give light the lamp has to be in a conspicuous position so that it can shine out to give direction and to give light wherever it is so the lord wants us to give the light of, be the light of the world and uh, so we want to shine for him and as we share our testimonies, as we share what God has done in the past and what he is doing, and yet what he will do, we are giving the light of the gospel. And that is the most important thing. Don't you think, Tony, the light of the world is Jesus. And we want to shine forth with his light and his, the salt, the preserver, the blesser, the enhancer of life. We want to give that to the world and this light comes from the lord and shines through us to others that can brighten up the path yes amen. Uh, marja uh, i i'd like uh, us to pray for uh, walter and and nina and uh you do you know there's um uh, of the three people i know in the world that pray the most they do a lot of time praying and i, I gotta say my wife is one of those three and um uh, uh, I, she, she's a real prayer warrior. And uh, I'm going to ask, Marge, I'm going to ask for you to pray for Walter and Nina. You know, they're going to be flying again. Uh, and uh, uh, that's why tomorrow we're going to host the broadcast with, with a prophet, with uh, our dear Albert uh, Ramirez. And uh, we're, going to sh we're going to host him tomorrow. And uh, give him some good questions and and i'm sure he's going to bless us but the walter and nina traveling again and we don't want them to have the problem they had with cuba about a month or so ago when uh, it took them three flights and uh to get to uh, cuba it was like the devil was stopping them you know the devil doesn't want us to carry out the commission of jesus he doesn't want us to share jesus with the world he wants to keep the world in darkness and uh, i i think the devil would actually wanted to kill walter and nina but he couldn't do it because we were all praying for him and on the fourth flight of that same plane when they finally got there and then they f were allowed to land i think it was uh, the third flight but no the fourth flight of that plane not they weren't on it, but oh, the, the plane yes, right. actually hit, uh, I, I guess, birds or something, and it blew out one of the engines, and they safely got back uh, to, and that can be very scary. Uh, but Walter and Nina were already there 
in Cuba ministering and what wonderful ministry they had. I'm sure you've been watching and hearing, you know, some of the great uh, testimonies and they can't share everything uh, because you know, Cuba is Cuba. So uh, it's not free. Like most of the countries that are able to get this broadcast, uh, there's parts of the world that uh, uh, the gospel is not welcome and they, they tried to stop it. But thank God, God has ways to get it in. So Marge, let's pray for Walter and Nina and their ministry that God will bless them wherever they go. I know soon they're going to be in uh, Ukraine. Uh, and I, I think it's going to be a few weeks from now, but uh, they're going to be in Ukraine. They're going to be in Poland. Uh, they're going to be they're going to be actually when you front lines. Uh, we we talk about being on front lines of evangelism. Not only are they going to be on the front lines of evangelism, but they're going to be in front lines near the war and ministering to those that are ministering to the people. And and then also, uh, I believe they're they, they're going to be in Cuba again uh, real soon. And uh, let's let's keep them in prayer. So would you would you pray? Yes. Our Heavenly Father, we come to you in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for this privilege of praying. Amen, and Lord. we pray for Brother Walter and Sister Nina today. Yes. Lord, you will strengthen them. You will bless them. Yes. You will encourage them, Lord, mm -hmm. to continue the fight of faith, Lord. Yes. And we just pray, Father, for them as they are preparing to leave. Father, in Jesus' name, we ask for the strength of the Lord. Lord, we thank you for your protection upon them as they've traveled in the past. And Lord, also your protection as they get ready again, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that you are going to be with them and you are going to help them in all things. You are their help. You are their provision. Lord, you are all that they need. And Father, as they share the gospel, wherever they are, Lord, in Jesus' name, we just pray, Father, the anointing of the Holy Ghost will be upon them, quickening them, Lord, using them. And Lord, that the needs would be met. Those that they are helping in Ukraine, assisting, Lord, with the stoves, with the heaters, with the uh, candles, with the food, Lord, with all the provisions Amen. and medical supplies that they can get yes, for Lord. helping the people. Father, in Amen. Jesus' name, we just thank you, Lord, that you are their source. You are our source. Yes. And Lord, those that are hearing today, speak to them, Lord, to be led of the Spirit to supply some of these needs, yes, Lord, monetarily Lord. and physically Amen. and every way they can help. Father, we ask for this continued blessing on Walter and Nina's ministry, their family. We ask you to bless them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And Lord, speak to hearts that uh, will help them do this work. Lord, I know there are people out there that are able to give. And Lord, that, yes. that these projects, uh, Lord, especially in Ukraine at this time, when there's when when we know the people that are working there and lord just move upon hearts by your spirit and power and lord let those people be protected from the bombs and and lord melt the hearts of those that are in late leadership even if you have to give them dreams and nightmares uh, lord uh, uh, and undertake, we pray, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and Lord, we pray divine protection for Walter and Nina, wherever they travel with the gospel. Lord, wherever they share the gospel, Lord, anoint them and quicken them and supply every need, whether it be spiritual, physical, or financial. We have that promise, Lord, in your word in Third John 2, that beloved, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in health, even as your soul prospers. And we believe yes. that promise, oh God. Yes. We believe it in Jesus' precious name. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Thank you. And Father, bless those that are watching right now. 
Lord, uh, you see the requests for free prayer, prayer, prayer that have come in. And we remember Mary and Jerry, Lord, let healing flow as Jerry yes. uh, is yes. recuperates in that yes. in that uh, yes. rehab yes. center, yes. Lord. Yes. Uh, oh, yes. in Jesus' name, Strength and let Mary. blessings come. Yes. And then, Lord, there's Kenny. Yes. Lord, minister to him, yes. and yes. so yes. many, yes. Lord, for yes. Harley and. And Jesus Lord, for the for Betty, yes, Lord, Lord. Uh, we Lord, there's so many Jesus. that have requested prayer. But Lord, Lord, you remember each one. You know each one, and we send the word. We remember your word in the scriptures, Lord, that tell us you sent your word and you healed them and you delivered them from their destructions. And Lord, we know that during this Holy Week. Uh, this uh, uh, week uh, that uh, we are recognized uh, around the world uh, as your believers know that what Jesus did. And in this week, this holy week, uh, yes, Lord, uh, let, let great signs and wonders yes, be done all yes. over the world uh, yes, in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Lord, I know that in the, the, look, this will be seen and heard in the future and uh, it won't be a uh, resurrection week uh, but lord uh, it, it doesn't matter because you are the god of time uh, there you are the same yesterday today and forever because time uh, really doesn't exist with you you are timeless uh, and what you did in yesterday what you did in bible days uh, you can do today and Lord, do it in Jesus' name. You see the many sick, Lord, uh, Lord, they're in Canada, those in South America, those in Europe, uh, those in uh, Africa, those in Asia. Oh, God, uh, you see those suffering uh, there in Japan, Lord, uh, in Jesus' name with those shingles. Uh, and Lord, uh, as a few of these things, uh, come to my mind right now lord I, I i send your word by faith in the name of jesus because you have given us this word and we can send it by prayer lord touch each and every one and then lord for the multitude of families that have unsaved loved ones that if they if the lord was to come if you were to Break the eastern sky, Lord, right now and return for your church, uh, for your people. Lord, there are many that are not ready. Uh, there are family members that are not ready. And Lord, we send a word uh, of conviction that they would receive Christ uh, as Savior, Lord and Master, that they may cry out, uh, Lord, forgive me. Uh, Lord, I repent of my sins. Uh, I open my heart to the person of Jesus Christ uh, who died. Uh, Lord, uh, we know that in a couple of days, Good Friday, uh, we call it. Uh, Lord, it was suffer a day of suffering for you uh, when you became a man, uh, Lord, to bear our sins, uh, to bear our sicknesses. Uh, and Lord, uh, but they killed you, uh, but you bore the stripes, oh God, for our healing. Uh, and they killed you on the cross, uh, uh, Lord, but you rose again the third day like you promised, uh, Lord. And after your passion, you showed yourself alive uh, for days and weeks. And then, Lord, on that great day, uh, when you gave that final commission to the church uh, to go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Lord, as you ascended, uh, Lord, you said you receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Uh, and Lord, fill your people afresh and anew. Uh, fill Marge and myself uh, afresh and anew with your Holy Spirit. Uh, Lord, that we may speak the word, that we may live the word, uh, 
And Lord, that we may look for the Lord's soon return in the name of Jesus. We thank you for all the missionaries, for all the workers, Lord, that are out in the fields. We think of the folks down there in Guatemala. We think of David down in Honduras, Lord. And all oh, we could go on and on, Lord. You know each and every one. In the name of Jesus, we praise you and thank you, Lord, for what you've done, what you're doing, and yet you're going to do. Hallelujah. And folks, wherever you are, just for a few moments, let's just praise the Lord. If you can, slip your hands up. I know that we're on the screen here and it's hard for us to do that. But if you can, just slip your hands up and say, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise him. Praise him in the morning. Praise him at noon. Praise him when the sun goes down. Hallelujah. And if you do it, you're going to feel a lot better. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. We thank you of your, yeah, your servant, David. Uh, he, Lord, he said three times a day, will I praise the Lord? Then he said seven times a day, will I praise you because of your righteousness? Uh, and when he became an old man, uh, he said, your praise shall be continually in my mouth both day and night. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I don't know about you. Uh, but Marge, don't you sense the presence of the Lord? Yes, and as we Lord. praise God, He dwells in the midst of the pe praises of His people. Well, so well, we are we are in the presence of the Lord. Amen. When we're praising yeah. the Lord, uh, I, Walter likes to use this, and I think he copied it from me from way back there years ago. But he likes to say, "And uh, God's, uh, God's address." Do you know what God's address is? It's the praise of his people. His be presence. Because he lives in the praise of his people. Yes. That's yes. his address. Praise and he's Lord. only only a prayer away. He's only a praise away. Yes. Praise yes. God. Yes. Isn't that wonderful? And praise so we God. want to encourage you today to praise the Lord. We want to encourage you to pray. In a few minutes, we're going to pray for the for the nations because this is prayer for America. And all America needs it, my friend. Yes. And as the U.S. goes, so do the nation. Yes. We need to pray for Israel. Yes. We need to pray yes. for all the nations of the world. There isn't, I don't think there's one country in the world that could literally say, the Christians of that nation could say to us, don't pray for us. We don't need it because I believe all 200 and some countries of the world, they need it. And in some nations, there's great suffering yes. and we need to pray uh, for the, for those nations. Uh, oh, there's some under, uh, under the grips of dictators and, and so forth. And we need to pray that God's will would be done and that nations would be shaken and they might receive of the, uh, from the hand of the Lord. Yes. But Marge, oh, did you want to share, share something about uh, uh, a, a surprise that you received? Uh, well, one, one special thing that I will never forget was after we had been in Spain and we remember we had ministered and got those uh, canned goods there in Gibraltar. And yeah. then we had the tents. We were with our brother Hank Den Herring and also Tony's brother Frank. And we had two tents. We were, we were delivering a lot of literature, Bible portions and tracts. And, and uh, we were putting them in mailboxes. We were ministering to the gypsies that would come around and uh, they were, they would ask us for food. So Anything we had left over or macaroni and, and other uh, vegetables, we would give it to them. But one night they had come under our tent and had stolen all of our clothes and the food. And of course, I thought, well, if they come around, I will sure talk to them. But my husband, he said, just be quiet, Marge, be patient. 
then he saw that his beans were gone. His Heinz pork and beans were gone. And he said, let me get my ham. <laughs> of course, that was our flesh acting. But anyway, uh, we came to United States and uh, didn't have har hardly any clothing because we had had those things with us that we were using for those months of ministry in Europe. And uh, we came to a church in West Memphis. They were ha We were having a week of crusade there at the church. And every night and uh, in the morning we had prayer meetings and that morning before we went to the prayer meeting I prayed and I said Lord uh, please supply my need I'd asked Tony for some money and he said he could only give me seven dollars and and uh, I thought well God can stretch that money but when we got to the meeting there was a message in tongues and interpretation and the message said what you have asked the Lord for this morning, I will give it to you. Whoa. And so I said, Lord, I received that. That was for me for sure. I received that. Well, after the meeting, the prayer meeting, a widow lady came to me who had two daughters herself. And she said, Sister Marge, I see that you need some. I feel that you might have a need of some clothing and uh, interior clothing. And she said, you look fine, but she said, I feel, and I said, well, uh, she said, do you have, can you get your needs met? I said, well, my husband gave, is giving me a little money, but we didn't have much. She said, well, I have a charge account at Penny's and I'd like to take you there. And so she took me there and bought me some things that I needed. And with the rest of the money, I got everything that I needed. When I think back of that, that taught us to trust the Lord for our needs to be met because my needs were met that day when uh, she had said, I'll take you over to Penny's and, and get you what you need. It, God was so caring and it, trust, it caused us to trust him and have faith in him because he will need, meet every need. And those of you today that are listening and have needs in your lives, God knows about your need before you even ask him and he will supply as you look to him, as you trust him, as you expect him to do so, he will provide your needs because he is the supplier of every need. Yes. And God is such a, he knows ahead of time. I, I, I've mentioned different times about time with God. God lives uh, in the present. Yes. but. With him, time, past, future, uh, present, it's all the same with God because he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And even in the Old Testament, uh, one of the closing, in some of the closing uh, words of the Old Testament that we have, he says in Malachi, uh, through the prophet, the third chapter, uh, he says, I am the Lord, I change not. And God doesn't change. And what he did for others in Bible days, he can do and will do today. He Amen. doesn't ever change. And uh, I, I'm thinking how that God has supplied our needs and the needs for our ministry. Um, and uh, we have, uh, how, how many times, Marge, we have written a faith check where we were supporting something, uh, I, I've seen checks of five hundred, a thousand, two thousand dollars that we wrote by faith, and we just prayed. We said, "Lord, we know that you're gonna, you're gonna uh, take care of this. You're gonna, we're gonna have have the money to cover it and so forth." And we'd go to the post office to mail the letter with the check into the ministry that we were supporting. And uh, we'd look in our mailbox and there would be a letter or a check from someone. For the same amount. For the same amount. Yes. And which means, God, well, what about the scripture? The, the Bible tells us that before we call, God hears. Yes. And while we're yet speaking, making a request, he answers prayer. He, he's he knows and he understands and and we have lived a life of of faith yeah of to supply our needs by faith 
for all these years, except we, I, I, I trained uh, workers for Brother Osborne. I trained uh, evangelists that could do his work, the work that his ministry required. I remember on California, we did about four or five months there. I was paid, and then as as a as a um, uh, evangelist, associate evangelist. Uh, well, of course, we didn't get a whole lot. I remember in England, uh, Brother Osmond guaranteed us forty dollars a week. That was like twenty dollars each a week. And I grant you, uh, money was worth more than days. But um, I remember that uh, almost a year. I think it was ten or eleven months that we spent. Uh, it 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 wasn't easy. And then he did help us with. Uh, a little uh, some when we were in Australia that year or so and uh, but uh, outside that it has always been by faith trusting God to supply the need and even in our old age I I, I don't know if I've ever told this story uh, on, uh, on on zoom I'm sure I haven't but I remember uh, when I got to be about 60 years old or nearing 60 and I would sit in maybe and listen to uh, in a service to someone telling about uh, how God is uh, supplying needs and so forth. And uh, here we're, we're still living by faith, all our ministry. And I remember questioning the Lord one day, and I know where it was. It was in a Slavic church up in Edmonton, I believe. And this is where he spoke to my heart. I says, Lord, um, well, what, what are, I hear these people talking about getting their pension uh, in the States or Social Security uh, and in Canada, their old age and so forth and, and all these. And I says, Lord, uh, I, I, what, are, what are we going to do? I, 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 I'm, I'm not eligible for any pensions. And uh, I've, I've, I've signed off as when I first started, because I thought you could return before I ever got to be 65. And here's what the Holy Spirit spoke to my heart. He said to me, child, when you were 30 years old, did you believe me to supply your need? And I said, yes. When you were 40, did I supply your need? I said, yes, you did, Lord. When you were 50, did I supply your need? I says, yes, Lord. When you were 60, did I supply your need? And am I supplying it now? And I said, yes, Lord. And the Lord says, and do you think when you're 65 that I'm going to quit supplying your need? I said, no, Lord. I, start, I started to cry, just tears coming out of my eyes. Because God has continued to supply our need. Tony, and not only that, when we think of when we were young and had jobs, how God provided work for us. I remember how I got a job, first of all, in the bank, and God provided that job for me and gave me the training so that when I went to Bible college, I could get a job in between the terms. Uh, of, of the Bible college, and I would have a job there waiting for me. God would provide a job for me. It was miraculous how God would supply my need of work and a job. And, if I, and the Lord spoke to me and said, well, if I took care of you then, won't I take care of you now? Amen. Won't I supply your need? Amen. And so that, this is trusting God. Yes. We've trusted God. Will he ever let us down? Never. He will never forsake us. He'll yeah. never leave us. Never forsake us. He is the all-sufficient God. Yes. The unlimited God with Amen. resources. Amen. 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 God knows exactly what you have need of. And he loves you. Remember yes. that. God loves you. I don't care how many, if all the devils of hell lined up in a big line and stood there and pointed the finger and say, God doesn't love you. They're all liars. Because God loves you. They can say, God isn't going to supply your need. You're going to go hungry. You're going to go starving. You're going to do without. You're going to be, you're going to be 
out on the street. You're going to be out in the bush. You're not going to have anything. The devil is a liar. My God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Tony, I think of that song. His love has no limit. His grace has no measure. His power has no boundaries known unto man. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and giveth and giveth again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He supplies our needs. Mars, that's so good. Could you just repeat that again? Yes. His love has no limit. His grace has no measure. His power has no boundaries known unto man. For out of his infinite riches in Jesus, he giveth and giveth and giveth again. Amen. And did you put that on one of your albums years ago? I believe I did. Yes, yes. 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 You know, my wife has recorded, I guess, about 10 albums. And uh, we've had different ones help with the albums, uh, with the music. Uh, I don't know if a lot of you that are watching know Dr. Ken Kenneth Matters and a friend of ours for over six for sixty years, almost sixty years, about fifty nine yes. years, and and, uh, Nancy. and uh, he he used to play the piano. He can still play it, of course. Like he's written many songs. Oh, a couple thousand uh, yeah. songs. Uh, they, they just haven't hit a uh, big hit parade yet, but one day they will. And uh, but he he played like Floyd Kramer. If you know Floyd Kramer, the uh, I guess he's piano passed player. on the piano player. He had that sound, and that's on a couple of your albums. And um, and they were, oh, and it, he and of course he plays the guitar, and he's quite talented. And they accompanied us with singing his some of his church group and yes. him and another couple. Yeah, when you made some of those albums, that's going way back in the seventies, early seventies, or maybe late sixties. And uh, the years have passed by, but we're looking onto the hills. We're looking up towards the eastern sky because Amen. the day of the Lord is drawing near. Hallelujah. Now, re I should back this up. One of the reasons uh, I didn't get pension, and I signed off on all these things when I was came into the ministry when I was about 21 years old, uh, because I never thought that I would live to 65 Without, and if I did, I surely would see the, the see the, uh, yeah. of the coming of the Lord. Well, here I'll be in, the, in a few weeks. I'll be eighty four years old, and uh, we're still ministering the gospel. I thank God for that. I don't. I don't jump around like I used to <laughs> when I preach. My brother Frank, who's gone on to be with Jesus, and his younger brother, he beat me to heaven. But uh, uh, he says uh, he didn't like to sit on the first row. He said when I preached, uh, he 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 could, get, he could get a shower, and I'll let you leave that to your imagination. What happened? Because I'd be all over the platform and and off the platform preaching, and and uh, well, praise the name of the Lord. And and we keep getting surprised because God keeps on doing wonders and wonders, and that's why. Uh, we we appreciate uh, helping and uh, hosting uh, uh, these programs and coming on. God willing, uh, we try to come on there at least once a week uh, with uh, Walter and Nina, and uh, we appreciate their ministry so much. Marge, it's time to give the address one more time for Global Vision. Of course, they can get it as. Uh, Marcy said uh, on some of the older ones where Walter, of course, is hosting, like yesterday, if you pick up uh, yesterday's. Uh, and uh, yes. anyways, uh, if you can help their ministry, let me say this. I know them. I've known Walter since he's 19 years old. And uh, when he first started to work in our ministry down in Bolivia, uh, South America, and, and hallelujah and they are honest and sincere and whatever you give and if you want to give for uh you 
for Bolivia or Cuba or anywhere else. They're, they're involved in a number of parts of the world. And their ministry, I can see very similar to ours. He learned some things from me, just like I learned from T.O. Osborne and Catherine Coleman. And uh, I learned, learned a lot from them and other evangelists. And I, he learned from Morris Sorello and myself and all those ministries that he translated for. He, you know, he translates in a number, uh, he, he did uh, uh, in his early ministry, translate for so many different uh, ministers and evangelists and teachers and uh, in different languages. He, he's, God has just given him that, that special gifting and plus his own ministry. And his wife is, a, is like my wife, uh, uh, a wonderful gospel singer and a musician. She plays the a piano. Marge plays the accordion. And, and Walter plays a sly, a sly trombone. And you don't see him blowing it anymore because that requires a lot, a lot of practice. But uh, he's so busy with the other aspects of the ministry. But what is the address, Marge? It's Global Vision Ministry, Post Office Box, 5377, El Dorado Hills, California, 95762. Oh, man. And what was that, a box in the, again? The box, post office box, 5377, El Dorado Hills, California, 957. Six, two. Or you can go on to, on, on to YouTube uh, and you can get the address off of one of uh, his programs off of there. Yes. Amen. And, you know, we're going to pause here. And for you that do not know Jesus in that joyful, great, personal way that you can know him as Savior, Lord and Master, know that if you were to uh, if you were to die. Uh, because we're all going to parish one someday, and you'd be ready to meet Jesus, knowing that your sins are all forgiven, that your name's written in the book of life. We yes. want to give you opportunity to open your heart. But first, we want to pray for uh, America, and we want to pray for Canada, and we want to pray for all these continents. And I'm going to ask my dear wife uh, of uh, 60 years to lead us in prayer and uh, pray to pray for the nations. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. Heavenly Father, we pray today as we come to you in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for uh, America, first of all, Lord, because we live in America. Father, we pray for the nation. We pray for the president and all of his cabinet, Lord, we pray for the all of the uh, parties, Lord, in Jesus' name. We pray for the senators, Lord, the congressmen, the governors of the states and territories and lands, Lord, and islands. We pray, Father, in Jesus' name for Washington, D.C. We pray in Jesus' name, move upon in all Jesus those officials, name. Lord. In Jesus' God, name, they would hear God. the word of the Lord. And Father, they would be convicted oh, in, of their sin. And Lord, their judgments, they are judging, Lord. But Father, they are not looking at their own self and their own needs. Father, open their minds and their hearts to see that you have a plan for this nation. And that is that the people would be one to Christ, that they would know Jesus. We pray in Jesus' name for this nation. And as we pray for this nation, we pray for Canada. Lord, we pray for the Prime Minister uh, there, Prime Minister Trudeau. We pray for the premiers of the provinces and territories the MLAs, the MPs. Lord, we pray for the nation of Canada, Ottawa, the capital. Lord, we pray, Father, your spirit would move upon our nations, North and South America. Lord, and the nations of the world. Father, send revival to the nations of the world. Mexico, Central America, South America, Asia, 
Europe, Eastern Europe, Africa, West and East Indies, Indonesian islands, Philippine islands, Greenland, Iceland, the Isles of the Sea, Father, all the nations, Lord, India and Nepal and all of the nations of Africa, Father, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray for Israel to be saved and the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for the prime minister to give him wisdom and Lord, knowledge, knowing God and knowing Jesus Christ, Lord, personally. We pray for Israel to be saved and the peace of Jerusalem. Father, we pray in Jesus' name for the nations around Israel, Syria and Jordan and Lebanon, Afghanistan and Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, Saudi Arabia, Arab Emirates, Lord. Oh, Lord, all these nations, Father, around Israel. Lord, we pray and we ask you to move by your Holy Spirit into all the world, Lord. They would hear the gospel, the tribes that have not heard or do not have the written word in their language. We pray that they would have the word in their own language and they would hear the gospel. Lord, those in the jungles, those, Lord, living in trees and in South America and in the, in the jungles, Father, and in the Philippines and Father, all of these nations, we pray they would hear the gospel. The gospel would have free course to go forth in all the world. Father, we ask this in the precious name of Jesus. And we thank you for this ministry of global vision. We thank you for the callings of God in our lives. In Jesus' name, bless the ministries. In Jesus' name. And Amen. Father, we pray for those who want to open their hearts <laughs> to a personal relationship with Jesus. Lord, you see each man, woman, yes. young person, Lord. Lord, uh, just touch their <laughs> hearts uh, in the name of Jesus. Lord, you're able to do exceedingly yes. abundantly above all that we could yes. ask or think yes. or oh, believe, yes. Lord. Uh, and I'm saying to you folks that are wanting to receive Jesus, just lay your hand on your heart as a point of contact. Pray this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I believe the gospel. I believe the gospel. I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that Jesus died for me. That there on the cross. That there on the cross, he took my place. He took my place. There on his back, there on his back, he paid the price. He paid the price for my healing. For my healing. And I ask in Jesus' name. And I ask in Jesus' name to forgive me. To forgive me. To write my name. To write my name in your book of life. In your book of life. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sins. And with your help. And with your help. I will live for you. I will live for you. From this moment from on. From this moment on. Help me. Help me. Strengthen me. Strengthen me. And I confess with my mouth. And I confess with my mouth. Not only my sins. Not only my sins. But I confess. But I confess. That Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ. Is Lord. Is Lord. Lord of my spirit. Lord of my spirit. Spirit. Lord of my mind. Lord of my mind. Lord of my body. Lord of my body. In Jesus In Christ's Jesus name. Christ's name. Amen. 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 And if you prayed that prayer, then Jesus has come into your life. Yes. And from this moment, you can do three things to strengthen you to as you live for God. Number one, talk to God every day by praying. Talk to him in your own words. Number two, let him talk to you. Get into the Bible. Maybe start, especially in the New mm -hmm. Testament as a new believer, uh, and Gospel John, because the Bible is made up of 66 books, really. And each, each uh, like Matthew, Mark, Luke, these are, these are written so that we can get a full knowledge of, of the Lord and of God's love for us. And third, get into a Christian church, have fellowship 
yeah. one with another uh, in a, a church that is a Bible-believing church. Now, once again, we have been filling in for Walter and Nina, missionary evangelists. Uh, they are the directors of Global Vision and this broadcast. And I'm going to be filling in again for them tomorrow, along with God, God willing, with our dear brother, Albert Ramirez, who is a prophet of the Lord. And he has insight. God has given him insight. Uh, some people say, well, I don't believe there's prophets nowadays. Well, uh, th then there's something wrong. You better tear that page out of the Bible. Because the Bible tells us in Ephesians 4, God gave us apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. And we may not always recognize people with this ministry, but they have the ministry. So uh, I may tell a story a little tomorrow about our dear brother, and uh, he'll be sharing tomorrow what, it, what God puts on his heart. Now, Walter and Nina, they like to say, when they uh, are leaving the broadcast, that Jesus Christ, Christ is, is the same, same yesterday, yesterday today, today, and, and forever. forever. But but we say, remember, Tony and Marge love, love you, you, but, but God, God loves, loves you more. more. Tell someone else uh, to tune in tomorrow in Jesus' precious name.